Hello everyone! We know that the car has a lot of important parts – engine, differential, suspension and so on. But the only part of the car that has any contact with the surface is the wheels. And today we will talk about the wheels, namely about the types of the wheels. We know that there are different types of tires – for ordinary trips, for racing, for off-road and for drifting, but all these tires have to be put on specific wheels. The wheel is the base. So today we will take a look and do some tests to see which wheels are the best and most balanced for the different conditions the car is in. I choose four different types of wheels on the same car. The first type is large in diameter but narrow. The second type is small in diameter and also narrow. The third type is wide but with a small diameter. And the fourth is wide wheels with a large diameter. All of them have racing tires which improve their grip on the road. And the first test we will conduct is as usual a test for acceleration and top speed. Let's look at the results. The presently narrow and small wheels have the fastest acceleration to 100 km per hour and the highest maximum speed. Most likely this is due to the much lower weight of the wheels than all the others. So the engine can rev it up easier and faster. Also, since the wheel is narrow, it has much less resistance to the force of friction, which acts not less than on all the other wheels. A wide and small wheel has a faster acceleration to 100 km per hour than a large and narrow wheel, due to a smaller mass, but it has the same maximum speed as a large narrow wheel, because also a large one is more difficult to spin, but thanks to a larger diameter, the wheel travels a greater distance at lower engine revolutions, so the maximum speeds are equal. So in this test a small and narrow wheel gets 3 points, a small and wide one gets 2 points and a big and narrow one gets 1 point. Big and wide remains without points. Now let's move on to the next test, namely the stability test during sharp maneuvers at high speeds. For this test I turned off the stabilization system in all cars, let's see which car will be most stable at a speed of 100 km per hour.
In this test the car with wide and small wheels obviously won. Its stability is due to the large area of contact between the wheel and the road, due to which the car drives much more confidently. And here are the results obtained by other wheels that were tested. The next test is a simple stability test. To do it I took all of the cars to the track and drove them there. This test is more subjective, just which car I felt more controlled. And here again a lot was decided by the contact area of the wheel and the surface. We have the following results. In the first place are wide and small wheels, because at the same time they give full control over the car and the car accelerates quickly. The second place is the small and narrow wheels, they have worse handling but better dynamics. The third place is wide and large wheels because they have good handling, but the acceleration of the car with them is not very good. Well, and on the last place is the big and narrow wheels, for obvious reasons. Now let's move on to fuel consumption test. All cars will travel at the same speed of 90 km per hour, let's see which of them will have the highest fuel consumption. According to the test results, we have that narrow and large wheels have the lowest fuel consumption. This is due to two factors. Firstly, they do not weigh as much as wide and large wheels. And secondly, they have a much larger diameter than small wheels. And this means that in order for the engine to maintain a constant speed with these wheels, it can work at lower revolutions. Therefore, fuel consumption is lower. The next test is an off-road test. First let's see how the car with these wheels will handle the sand. Large and narrow wheels get stuck in the sand, but because of their small area and the large diameter of the wheel itself, the car can move forward slowly. The small and narrow wheels are trying to move forward, but because of their small size, they cannot overcome the sand. Something similar with small wide wheels. They move more confidently, but very slowly and still get stuck in the sand. Wide and large wheels move normally in the sand, but due to their larger contact area, they may not be able to overcome the sand and get stuck. Now let's just drive on dirty roads and see which wheels provide the best comfort and possibility in such conditions. The big disadvantage of small wheels is the correspondingly small ground clearance. This reduces the number of places where the car can drive and also reduces comfort on rough road surfaces. Now let's do the last test. This is a suspension test with the different wheels on bumps, just to see which wheels will be the most comfortable. Ah. 
It's clearly seen that the large wheels are better in this regard. Also do not forget that the car with large wheels looks much better than the small ones. Here are the results of the points that the wheels received in the test. In general I will say that for everyday use large narrow wheels are suitable, because they give less fuel consumption, they are more comfortable and in a sense universal. But if you are a fan of driving, then small and wide wheels are for you, because they give a quick acceleration to 100 and excellent handling. Well, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new for yourself. If so, please like this video to help other people find my channel. Thank you again for watching and see you soon.